okay? Now you're thinking to yourself, what's the multiplicative identity property? Well, it sounds a lot like multiply. If you take that I and say it weird, it's multiply. That's right, you're gonna multiply, okay? Based off of this one right here, where we know we're adding zero and we're keeping it as the same number, what can you guess this is gonna be? What can you do with multiplication to where you have something, it's multiplied by something, but then it equals itself? Say it with me. That's right, times one. So essentially A times one is gonna equal A. Okay, so for instance, nine times one, what's that gonna equal? Well, you're multiplying nine times one, which is the amount of that it already has, that's nine. Great job, okay? That's the multiplicative identity property. You won't use these very often, you might use them in some proofs, but they're just something you have to know because that's what math tells us to do, is to know things. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please, subscribe. Maybe, 